parkour community in Austria is pretty interesting. You get people in all places, in the smallest towns and in large cities like here in Vienna. Uh, people are practicing pretty, pretty good. I think they're training hard and doing things well, and I like that. I'm pretty, pretty uh, proud of the Austrian community, actually. The community in Austria is very friendly and everybody's welcome from everywhere in the world because we share the same love for movement and share all the same um, passion for our way of life. It's totally friendly and supportive. If you email someone, no matter who, uh, yeah, I'm interested in parkour, can you tell me something? They're gonna invite you for training, for a jam, show you the basics, uh, make you meet other people who are involved for a long time so you can learn from them, and that's really amazing. But it's not just like that in Austria, I think it's in the whole world, actually. The parkour community is really tight and really open to everyone. In Vienna, it's, it's huge. We have so many advantages here and, and so many opportunities. It's really good here. There are younger people just doing this one or two years and they're really good because just how they train and how they, they feel about uh, doing parkour, that's, that's really inspiring. Many people started to train parkour because when I started there were like 16 people in Austria. So um, not that many, but um, today it's like we have a, a really good uh, platform, Parkour Vienna, and there are like 1,700 people on it now. So many people to train. There are some, some countries or some cities or communities who focus more on strength, others more on style, others uh, focus on the flow and then the others are doing the big jumps. And it's also influenced by the architecture because when you've got flat roofs, a lot of people will go on the roofs. We don't have that much flat roof, so we are staying a lot on the ground. If you've got big brick walls, and you can climb the walls, you will see a lot of climbing in the videos and so on. And so I think uh, there are regional differences and I think that's really fine. I would say that um, the people are, uh, they have a really big span of, of movement because um, sometimes I think that, that certain communities concentrate on, on like certain things. Uh, but in Vienna, like it's it's quite wi widespread, so um, people concentrate on everything, and many people are visiting Vienna as well. We have uh, people over from from England and uh, Germany, um, Slovakia, so um, we can exchange the, the experiences between the communities, and that's why um, Vienna is kind of a yeah kind of a melting pot. I think it's really important to exchange each other because each city has another style, another point of view, and it's also. Yeah, it broadens your vision to know someone from another country. What connects us isn't what we see politically or what we like to do in, our, in the rest of our time. It's something that we're different and we want to do something different and want to overcome obstacles, not be confined and, and not be you know, limited to anything. And that makes a strong bond no matter where you are from or where you're going.